against almost anyone. Uh, Cody would be another guy that's played a lot of games in this, you know, in this building yeah. on Saturday nights. But is there, is there something about Hockey Night Canada, Saturday Night Montreal Canadiens, and another Canadian team? Yeah, it's it's fun. It's awesome. Fans here are very passionate, very loud, and uh, the building is it's special to play and a lot of history here. And yeah, as a kid growing up, I watched the tiny games, you know, Saturday night. Uh, with this building, you know, so it's uh, it's a special place to play in, and I've always enjoyed it. Did you uh, growing up, you know, probably at least him? Or yep. There, but were there some Canadians players that you thought, wow, like you know, individual players that that you liked, or was it were you more just Leafs? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a tough question. <laughs> I was uh, obviously a big uh, Leaf fan growing up, so. Um, but yeah, I think Saku Koivu was somebody who I always thought was a great player. I watched him a ton, you know, when I was growing up. So um, they've had a ton of great players. But I've always, I was always a group of Leaf fans. I tended to gravitate more towards those guys. What makes you good as a team recently? I think we're just playing the right way consistently. I think our process has been really good and. Um, we're just building on our confidence and playing as a team and working at both ends of the ice. So it's been really good. Is there something that we could not see in the highlights? I, I mean, I think the first uh, stretch, everything that could go wrong was going wrong. So I think that was uh, the kind of the most drastic side of, of our team that you would see is is that. And I think we kind of gravitated more to the norm and, and how we know we could play. and. Uh, what we're capable of. I think there's more to, there's more room for growth, but I think it's been really good of late. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Did the new coach uh, uh, switch some gears? Yeah, I think uh, Chris came in, obviously. Uh, we were a group that had lost a lot of confidence um, for whatever reason, and I think he came in with a very calming presence, and I think guys were able to find their confidence individually and then collectively as a team. So. I think just bringing that calming presence, uh, that presence was was really important. And then uh, a couple of tweaks uh, that he made, obviously, um, and things have obviously been going well. November 24th, Zach, uh, your goaltender Stuart Skinner has posted some of the best numbers in the NHL. When your goaltender is playing as well as he is, what does that do for the rest of the group? Uh, it's phenomenal. Obviously, it gives us a chance to win every night and. Even when we're not at our best, I think, you know, you look back at that Chicago game, that's a game where early on in the season we probably lose that, but Stu goes in and, and really saves the day there. So uh, he's been playing unbelievable and, and giving us a chance to win every night. I guess I should probably ask you one about maybe winning 10 in a row. It's, uh, um, you know, Chris said it the other night, you'd think the 80s teams would have yeah. had that, you know. So yeah. what, what do you, you know, you already had an 8, you're at 9. What do you think of setting possibly a franchise record? Uh, obviously, that would be a pretty big accomplishment considering the teams that, that you mentioned that played here and, and that won here. And um, yeah, it's just, you know, for us, we just have to look at it as another game and, and you know go out there and do our best to try and win it. But um, obviously, we put ourselves in a position to, to do something pretty, pretty cool, pretty unique, and, and special. So uh, it would be a, a, a great night to get it against uh, Montreal in, in Montreal in this building. It would be pretty cool. Zach, sorry to put you on the spot here, but obviously it's your captain's birthday, 27th birthday. Do you have a favorite McDavid memory in your time as an Edmonton Oilers? Nah. Um, no, I mean, so many. He's, he's become a, a great friend. You know, we, we train together in the summer, and uh, obviously we're line mates, so I spend a lot of time with him. He's, he's a, a great player, a oh, special player, and, and a great friend. And uh, I mean, the recent memory of that last goal is pretty good against Detroit. Like, you don't really have to go too far back. You, you see a number of those, so we'll just go with the top of mind that that goal was pretty, pretty unique.